One of the wonderful things about the Christmas season is that we have an opportunity to in, indulge ourselves in a lot of great Christian music, Christmas music. And among those are the, one of the mainstays of uh, Christendom here in the city of Pittsburgh, Greg and Rebecca Sparks. They've got a live show coming on d- December 18th, and they are with us in studio to perform and to talk. And uh, Greg and Rebecca, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thank you. Love being here. We love when you guys show up. We really do. Change and the vibe. It does. <laughs> and uh, we love you guys as people. You know that and your family. Um, And especially your take on Christmas has been really uh, musically formative to me over the years. It just gives me a different way of looking at it. Um, Before we went on air, you said, you know, in the West, we tend to make Christmas into some kind of crazy thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a big performance. It's a big wow. You got to be up for it, you know, Mm -hmm. shiny, glittery. And it's like, get your sweaters, man. And like, but there's a beautiful rhythm in the orthodox way, in the ancient way, of leaning into the lament and the longing Mm. for why do we need this savior? Why are we looking for a Messiah? And that changes everything. When we tilt that perspective, it allows us to kind of feel that sadness that most of us feel Mm -hmm. this time of year. That we're kind of forbidden to express in some way, considering where we've been these last several years, lament surrounds us, does it not? Exactly, exactly, right. And then whether it's in a, you know, in a global uh, presence or, you know, bring it way, you know, to the micro of our heart, to our families, We're always saying goodbye, especially when you start getting to be our age. Mm -hmm. We're all saying goodbye to somebody, right? right? Yeah, it's true. And it's and there's a perpetual, there's a thread of sadness, Mm -hmm. but that's appropriate, right? Because this place is broken, and we need Jesus. And we're temporary here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So December 18th in Mount Lebanon. Talk about the uh, the event. How long will it be? Who's invited? Uh, All the the whole family is invited. Mount Lebanon EPC has a beautiful sanctuary. They decorated a tree, Mm -hmm. and it's just it's really lovely. Stained glass and everything. So it's it's a wonderful place to come for a a Christmas concert and gathering. We will be celebrating. Also, there'll be songs that are um, uplifting, and we'll be singing along with the congregation. and it's a larger scale musically. Um, our uh, son, Ed, who's been playing drums with us since he was 14, he's a big man now. When he had no choice. When he had no choice. Sorry, they, we were just feeding him crackers for that. <laughs> right. And uh, But now he, he requires more than crackers to come out and play with us. Yeah. And uh, uh, our buddy Damon Himes is uh, playing on the bass, and Young Garitz is playing cello. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a beautiful night. Oh, yeah. I yeah. can't wait. It's yeah. so good. And it's free. You know, it's free. I think they're taking an offering to help yeah. with expenses, as, as they, they say. say. To fray the cost. But anybody can come and sure. bring your friends and your family. Mm-hmm. And, Neighbors, and, uh, co-workers. It's, it's great, it's you wonderful. know, because the gospel is in the music. So listening to the music is is just, you know, people enjoy it. It's, uh, Christmas is an amazing time that people hear the gospel over the radio nonstop, you know, mm-hmm. in the sense of like the Christmas all carols. the Christmas carols and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah. It's a great opportunity. So for people who don't know your music, Greg and Rebecca, give us a preview. Can you play something for us? Yeah. Absolutely. This is just part of a song, right? Right. All right. Right. This much. Remember how it started in July. A Christmas club in Sears catalog. Circle in our dreams That mom and dad made gifts For the eight of us Cradles and cars and dresses A velveteen But my pennies and nickels Were always good At my mom's store Bargain basement treasures under her bed I'm fine and Christmas is difficult this year I'm fine and Christmas is different without you here And all these paper chains of memories and nutmeg in my mind with broken and imperfect longing I'm fine 
morning Christmas I'm finding Christmas is difficult this year I'm finding Christmas is different without you here And all these paper chains of memories With nutmeg in my mind With broken and imperfect longing I'm finding Christmas. Hmm. Boy, that's beautiful. Wow, boy, isn't boy, isn't that the truth? When that Christmas is always about longing in yeah. some ways looking back and people who used to be with us are now gone, but still we gather as family and we celebrate. Yeah. yeah. And and the way we do it is built on those who have gone on mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all the, you know, you, you just think cookie recipes, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Like these are things that are passed on the way that we do it, the way, the time that we have a meal, do we have a meal? Mm -hmm. What service do we go to for Christmas? Like it's imprinted in us in this beautiful chain of tradition. Yeah. And all that sentimentality goes with family. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when you guys got married, how old were you? Twelve. <laughs> I was, I was twenty. I was That's illegal. It was the month that I turned twenty-four. Okay. Yeah, and famously, Greg was so excited about us being married that um, when my birthday rolled around, uh, three weeks later, he totally forgot. Oh, there you go. Totally oh. forgot. <laughs> It was my birthday. The decades have passed, but still the hurt and remains. I, I, I don't even remember it. <laughs> okay, so That's did you did you have to negotiate like how you were going to do Christmas? Like. Well, oh, yeah. that's that's the way my family always well, does it. We well, that's the way your family. Where, yeah. Our families lived apart. Some people have to divide the day. Right, right. You know, yeah. we had to divide the holidays because Michigan or Indiana, where my family was, versus Johnstown, where her family. Right. You can't be in both places. Right. And, and it just always was a little bit of a pressure to be in which place. You know, we would. It was kind of like Thanksgiving yeah. or Christmas. Sure. Right. And, and especially performing as well. Right. You had to work around your schedule. Yeah. 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 So definitely. And so now that you have. Four grown kids mm -hmm. and a couple grandkids. Right now, you're like you've taken what your parents gave to you, and now you're doing the same thing with your kids. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm horrible. I'm horrible because the the Syrian Russian person that I am, sure. we just want the tribe together all the time. Of course. And it's like, oh, you have to go somewhere. We'll all, we'll all pack our bags and we will go with you also then. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I I drive them crazy because I want everything to be all together, <laughs> and they're like. Mom, we have to establish our independence as adults. And I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. As family. Why? I right. never did. What would the point of that be? <laughs> That's so, what? Right. Yeah, exactly. Greg and Rebecca Sparks are with us. Coming up December 18th, at the Sunday at Mount Lebanon EPC, a free concert. There's a little tiny slice of it right there. And uh, uh, you guys, for decades, you've been doing this. I mean, you've made a career out of this. To have a career in the arts, especially mm -hmm. as believers, it's no small matter, is it? Sure. No, it's a miracle, right? No, like, and you know, in our earlier years, we kind of fought through the melees of Christian music industry and sure. worked with record companies and did you need management and who's your booking agent? You know, the whole machine of that. But really, we're two kids that kind of grew up in church and youth group experiences where we felt the touch of God, the awareness of who God is at an early point in our life. And our focus in our music has always been, what's the ministry behind it? What, what, how is this benefiting someone else? You know, it's not about, oh, I wrote a song and I want to report it for you, so I feel good about the song. You know, right. it's more about music that we can lay before other people in a concert or in a, some kind of recorded medium and see if there's a way that it moves and touches the heart. And, and I think when you do that, it limits in some sense, it limits what you're ever going to do in the organization of the industry because it, it's not as much about that's they want that, but how they get it is different. Right. Mm -hmm. But to say, I want to perform music for people, then you just go to churches, you go to colleges, you go wherever you know, and somebody may use you one year and then next year they don't. It's not there's no 
it's no tour aspect to it. It's more of like where are we being taken, where are we being booked, and that's when, for us, I think that's been the whole emphasis. Of like, Lord, where do you want us to go? You know, mm -hmm. there's that, a prayer at the end of our, liturg our liturgical service that it says, "And now send us out to do the work you've called us to do." And every time we hear that, we're just like, "Yes, that's that's it, God. Mm -hmm. Send us out." to the work you've called us to do, wherever that is. Fabulous. That confidence and humility in showing up and trying to praise God. Yeah. yeah. Let's play another song. Okay. Would you mind? Yeah. The yeah. Sparks uh, in concert December 18th, Mount Lebanon, EPC. You go. Why did you come to earth? Struggle into a mortal skin. What did you see in us? A comparable prize of the heaven you're in. Sweet little baby boy. Dear Mary's pride and joy. And all you can do is cry. Someone bigger for hell. You cry out, you cry out. Cause everyone needs a savior. Look how we treated you. The hell that we all put you through. What kind of love is this? You suffered the worst in our place for every ruined man. You promised a perfect plan, and all we should do is cry out, cry out, call on someone bigger for help. Love that song. That's a beautiful. Absolutely love that song. That's Greg and Rebecca Sparks. Their concert is coming up Sunday, December 18th at 6 p.m. That's one week before Christmas at Mount Lebanon EPC. Their only Pittsburgh concert at Christmas this year. You don't need a ticket. Just show up. Um, what time? 6 p.m. is the show. That's terrific. Yeah, so for families with school kids. Perfect. Still okay. get out. All right. Fabulous. Um, last thing that I want to bring up is that uh, since you guys were in here last, you, Greg, became legit. I was legitimized. <laughs> you were. You were by, by a yeah. body of people. Well, yeah. our path has been in the church for decades and decades. And we've served as worship leaders and ministry leaders and stuff. But it was never ordained you know, as part of that pastoral staff. And we knew that that was important. So we kind of set on a course. So in the fall of 2016, I started seminary at uh, Trinity Seminary and then graduated from there. And then I entered into the ordination process in the Ang Anglican Church. Nice. Uh, Ellsworth In Ellsworth, uh, Church of the Ascension is our home church. And uh, so just this past... May, I was ordained as a deacon. Mm -hmm. And so now I serve as a deacon, which He's means... He's in his diaconate year. year. Oh. You know, Serving all over the place. Deacon is clergy, uh -huh. you know, and uh, but I'm not a priest yet. So hopefully mid next year sometime mm -hmm. i'll be ordained as yeah. a priest and he's deacon greg now listen i'm super excited and yeah, super yeah. proud of you oh, that is thanks. a really wonderful thing it's been amazing well rebecca is you know she, nope oh, she, i'm not i'm doing. not ordained I, that. I am not the deacon <laughs> yeah i know but deaconess <laughs> she always wanted to be married to the deacon so it's about time yeah. the deacon deacon's blues. wife very nice ah <laughs> Greg and Rebecca, thanks so much. Yeah, we love you guys. Great props to you. Really, 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 really good to have you. Fabulous. The concert's Thank coming you. up Sunday, December 18th at 6 p.m. That's one week before Christmas at Mount Lebanon EPC. You don't have to worry about a ticket. Just show up so you can see Greg and Rebecca and celebrate the Savior.